I knew this day will come one day. My first tarantula escape. Well, I was just preparing to record some new material and then this happened. Right there. Yeah, my Afonopelma Zemani decided to make a trip across the whole tarantula room and now I have the pleasure to search for the spider and bring her or him home. But this just proves a point that tarantulas are quite strong and they will eventually find a way to get out of their enclosure. So yeah, let's try to find the tarantula. So what to do when a tarantula escapes? First, don't panic. Try to look for places that are dark, humid and warm and take into account if the tarantula is arboreal, fossorial or terrestrial. With this knowledge, there is a high chance that you will find your missing spider. Well, now after 45 minutes, I still haven't found the Afnopelma. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid that I won't find it. So after one hour I finally found this guy and this is the reason why I always try to prevent an escape during for example a rehouse. Yeah let's get a catch cup and let's get him back home. Okay let's check the spider. I need an extra light to check if this is a male or a female. Hmm, interesting. I know this looks a bit like a dot, but still I have the feeling that this is a female. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at the markings on the legs. Very nice. So let's close the lid and add something heavy on top. We don't want this spider to run out again. Okay, so let's get to the tarantulas that I recently got. This is a Pamphobeteus species Mahala, a species that is exceptionally beautiful even among the males, especially among the males. One thing that I have noticed, you see on the abdomen there are some white spots and I am not really sure what this is. Hopefully this is not mold or something, but luckily this spider and the other two that I got here will be kept in quarantine for some time, about one, one and a half months or so. This spider don't need rehousing, it will be kept inside this container for that time, although keeping in mind that the Afonopelma managed to escape from its plastic enclosure, I am slowly but steadily convincing myself to change the enclosure for this spider, but not today. The second tarantula that I got is a species that I am really excited about and to be honest, among those three tarantulas, this is the first one that I picked since they came from a good friend of mine. This species is not so common in Poland, but it's very popular in the United States. This gentle giant is an Afonopelma calcodes, so the Arizona blonde, if I am correct. What's interesting is that this spider is supposed to be gravid. So, with a bit of luck, maybe we'll get some Afonopelma calcodes slings. But before that, we need to rehouse this spider since this enclosure is a bit too small for this beautiful tarantula. This giant here is an adult female, Hysterocrates gigas a very aggressive, very venomous burrowing tarantula. And you may ask why. I have a male of this species that I named after a good friend of mine and I want to give him, I mean the tarantula, not my friend, to have a chance to mate with a female of his kind. This species is known to show a lot of aggression towards the males of its kind so we need a lot of luck and with this luck maybe we will be the witness of the pairing of those beautiful creatures. I mean look at those legs. Those legs are exceptionally strong and they use those strong legs to dig their deep tunnels where they live. Okay, <laughs> let's close this uh, and let's prepare the enclosures. 
Let's start with the easier one. It's a new home for you. You will love it. You are so calm. So calm. What a gorgeous looking tarantula. Second enclosure. Okay, let's make a starter burrow and let's make one right here. So here's the starter burrow for the tarantula. Keep in mind, since this is a heavy burrower, fossorial tarantula, you need to provide ventilation holes above and below the surface of the soil. I have made those holes on both sides of the enclosure. This should be sufficient enough to keep air in the whole enclosure. All right, here's the spider. It will fight. Uh, can you see that? She's already trying to defend her home, although this is a very small home, so we need to rehouse her very badly. Come on, cooperate. Huh, that was a strong bite. Whoa, she's Girl, <laughs> I think she figured out that <laughs> resistance is futile. Right, with that job done, there is one more thing that I want to do today. So this is the spider we are going to rehouse today. This is an Amazonius germani. X Tapinogenius Gigas. This is a spider that I had twice the luck to have a male and finally after such a long time I have a female of this species. So maybe in the future we will have a breeding project with this species. And this is the enclosure where the Amazonius Germani will go after the rehousing. This was previously the home for my male Heteroscodra maculata, but unfortunately this guy passed from old age, but he did his job really well. And talking about Heteroscodra maculata, check this out. They are already changing color, which means that they are very close to their mold. So very soon we will have a lot of L1 Heteroscodra maculata slings. But let's get back to the rehousing. Give me just a few seconds to clean this enclosure. Okay, I think this enclosure came out pretty nice. Now it's time to give the spider its new home. And I think this will be very tricky since those are really fast, like lightning. It was easier than I thought. Finally, a worthy enclosure for this tarantula. Look at the colors. Absolutely beautiful spider. What a week! My first tarantula SKP and the hunt for the missing spider. This was quite exciting. And what do you think about the enclosure? I think it came out pretty nice. Finally a female Amazonius Germani. A dream comes true. <laughs> this collection grows with every day. If you like what you saw and don't want to miss the next tarantula escape, please don't <laughs> consider subscribing. 
ring the bell, leave a comment what you like, what you want to see in future videos and as always, thank you for watching. Toronto Hala out.